Hello, I'm Nicole Rodriguez, an ICAM music major. For my senior project, I worked on the sound design for the film Lone Pair, directed by Emily Butler and Ryan Bradford. Lone Pair is an experimental science fiction short shot on 16mm film. The film explores the effects of technology on memory, relationships, and day-to-day -day life. My role as sound designer is to ensure that the themes, emotions, and messages envisioned by the directors come through. A sound designer of an independent film must wear many hats. These include boom operator, foley artist, editor, composer, and mixer. One unexpected challenge was having to work from home to the COVID-19 quarantine. This required me to solve technical issues such as learning how to build a computer. Coming up, I'll show you a clip of Lone Pair that illustrates how sound influences how one experiences the picture. Do note that much or most of the sound, including the dialogue and diegetic noises, are ADR and Foley, meaning they were recorded in a different time and place than when and where they were originally filmed. Finally, I'd like to say that I'm proud of this project and am eager to share the full 22 minutes with you all when it is completed. But for now, here's a sample of what is to come. Please enjoy. There's no way to observe them, but I'm almost convinced they're organic. And they're traveling down a concentration gradient from a place of order to disorder. I believe the source is us. What I mean is, all these memories have been collected here, by us. What time is it? Four thirty eight after work. Remember that dream I told you about? It looked a lot like this. I had a dream that the sky changed colors again. It looked a lot like this. It was a week of constant sunsets. The first day was yellow. There was so much haze, like when it rained, then pink and... My mom was in the kitchen being fed medicine. These two men in suits were looming over her. The last day, it was purple and red. I was in the street and the street was covered with ladybugs and I was floating over them. And there were corporate buildings. And one with a broken door and a man was bent in half it seemed, trying to fix it. A broken man fixing a broken thing. Where was he? 